Well, hi, this is uh, Shu Rayner at the Shu Rayner Drawing School, and today it might be hot and sunny where you are, but while I'm doing this, it's uh, it's nearly Christmas time, and it's freezing, freezing cold here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to draw a Christmas tree and colour it in at the end. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So, a Christmas tree. <clears throat> well, I think you... Probably all know, let me find the middle there, that's about right, okay, to about there. Good, uh, I think you all know it's kind of a triangle shape, that's what we're kind of after, isn't it? That's something like that. And we put a little pot on the bottom for it to sit in. Now Christmas trees, um, you, you've been drawing these since kindergarten, um, and you've done them all sorts of different ways, but we're kind of, kind of trying to draw it this time. And um, think about what's going underneath, now the branches, actually go out at angles pointing up and they go up slightly as they go along so let's have some shorter ones that are going to be kind of in the middle um, now what we're going to want is some swag going all the way up like that which would be very nice and then we're going to want some decorations so I'm going to put some nice big balls of decoration on there like that and maybe some smaller ones just filling in there and then we've got to do the lights and put a couple like that uh, the lights we want to have kind of little ones all over the place but in fact I'm going to start drawing straight away now let's do the, the, the top one if you looked at my other one of my other videos I've shown you how to draw stars and this is a kind of a Christmas tree and star we'll put on the top there right I'm actually going to start drawing um, wh what I'm going to do first is is these um, swag bits and this is going to be kind of tinsel and make that ziggy zaggy kind of all the way across like that um, and this kind of breaks it up and in my house I'm the one who does the Christmas tree <laughs> and mainly because nobody else could be bothered and and now everybody says oh it's because it's a dad thing you know and I won't let anybody else help but it's reached the point now where it's kind of my job and uh, so I do the Christmas tree the way I do it um, and, and, and the one thing I do do is I put all the, the large decorations on first and spread them out nice and evenly you have to keep standing back and seeing how it's looking like that. So you've got a nice balance with the large ones. And then we'll have a few of the smaller ones. And uh, let's get that there, that there, maybe another one there. And to, so that I know that these are the decorations, I'm going to put little, put little kind of reflections in there. And the larger ones I'm going to put a bit of... Um, kind of shade there and then that will give you a feeling of them being a bit round just, just by doing that give that three-dimensional kind of look to them I think I kind of think there's a lot of drawing to do here I might have to kind of speed up some sections right um, the next thing let's just put the star in there so we've got that sitting nicely on the top um, and then the next thing, right, we want lots of little circles and you want to place these so there's a good bit of space around them in kind of all the little areas that you've kind of left behind. And these are going to be the the lights. Okay, so uh, maybe one over there, one over there. Right, so what you need to do now is to kind of do these little... I don't know what you would call them. They're the kind of well, they're the kind of shimmers around the lights, like that. Okay, uh, and they're kind of little light little rose petals. This is looking all right. I'm just checking the camera. How we did four minutes. Okay, um, I'm just going to speed this section. Right now we've done that. Uh, now the secret to get this kind of Christmas tree look is. It is, it's going to be on the edges here and you need to have 
kind of the because the middle of the Christmas tree is going to be all quite dark right so you want these kind of bits that you want, draw a line and then kind of zigzag out from each side of it I'm going to speed this up again as well hang on Uh, now I'm going to draw in this uh, pot, I'll give it a little kind of a snowy trim. I just want to get the pot drawn in so that, and then shade that in a little bit like that, and a bit, bit of shading underneath the snow there, and then a bit more down that side, like that. Now, um, work your way up, you're going to have the... Um, stem is going to be all the way up there and kind of draw in quite firmly some of these branches but make sure they don't go through the circles of the lights or of the what are they called <laughs> the decorations i'm having to concentrate while i'm doing it and make sure they don't go through the the line of the tinsel going across the tree as well. Okay, so that's kind of quite fur. Oh, we haven't got any up here, are they yet? Have we got um, maybe something like that? Right, and then basically you just want to kind of scritchy scratchy fill in all the rest of that, and I'm going to speed that. Right, um, I'm going to rub out the pencil now, which I can do because this is a permanent pen and I know it's dry. Um, and now I need to get some kind of 3D-ness in there. So underneath the tinsel here, I'm going to put a little bit of extra shading in there. And maybe you could do a little bit of tin tinseling in there, like that. And again, underneath being careful not to go into those kind of circular bits of the of the lights which I think are working quite well that effect uh, like that okay and you can put a bit more kind of tinsely twinkly bit like that uh, now the, the middle of the tree should be more dense really so I would kind of put a bit more cross hatching into the middle of the tree because you've got the thickness of the front and the back and that's just how it's going to be so that will if you can make it a bit more dense in the middle with more lines but careful in, being careful not to go over the the kind of the circles of where the lights are because I think I think they're working quite well as, as the effect of the the kind of the glow of the lights and you can maybe do something like that there um, maybe have that bit more curve down there that'll be a bit of shadow underneath there um, and and then if you do some kind of little marks like that for a bit of twinkling um, and I think that's not too bad uh, I haven't got very long to do it myself on here on the video. So, but if you took your time, uh, I think you would find that would be quite fun. I might just uh, take two seconds to kind of colour it in. Um, Yeah. 
Well, there you go. That's very quickly coloured in with crayons and it's kind of looking quite Christmassy. So if you just take your time and have a go at that, then I think you'll find uh, you, you, you'll be able to draw a Christmas tree. So there you go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel for lots more videos. Come to www.shoe-tube.com where you can find all my videos uh, getting through all the filters on schools and libraries and things like that. And... Um, and, and keep on drawing, practice, 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 <laughs> and I'll see you next time.